Hey guys, today's video was inspired by these amazing plastic hanging Halloween birdcage lanterns that I picked up at my local 99 cents only store. The price was only 99 cents on them and I definitely couldn't pass them by. So I hope you guys enjoy this DIY home decor tutorial. The first thing that we're going to be using is a plastic bird cage, which I purchased from the 99 cents only store. This does come with a hook so you can easily hang it. And also it does come with some fastening openings where you can open the cage and place items inside. I'm going to be using a mirror reflected sheet, which I've cut to size. I'm also going to be using some glue adhesive. I prefer to use the glue adhesive along with the self-adhesive mirror strip only because this will allow it to stick properly to the plastic. I went ahead and sized this strip and cut it out to my desired length. You will need to make sure that you do cut pieces to allow the cage to open if you plan to place any items inside. The self-adhesive glue that I'm using is from Walmart and I'll make sure to link all of the information of the products that I've used below. I am now going to go ahead and place some masking tape over the reflective mirror so that way when it's time to spray paint none of that gets onto the reflective mirror. I'm going to then go ahead and use my X-Acto knife to trim the excess masking tape away. Try to be very careful when trimming away the excess tape with your X-Acto knife as this can be very sharp. And these are also available at the Dollar Tree in their Crafter's Corner section. Now it's time to spray paint and I'm going to be using a gold metallic finish which I purchased at Walmart. You will need to allow it to dry. I'm also going to be using this bling trim which I did purchase from Amazon. It was really inexpensive and you do get quite a few yards. I'll make sure to link that below. On the opposite side of this bling rim, there is a rubber backing, which you can use to either hot glue or use normal glue, or you can also iron this onto clothing or fabric. I'm going to be using some adhesive glue. To go ahead and measure each length prior to applying this and I'm going to be using some clips that I got from the Dollar Tree just to hold it in place. Along with the adhesive glue I'm also going to be using some hot glue and the hot glue is just to hold it in place while the adhesive glue dries. Make sure that you do trim away prior to wrapping the entire trim around as you will need to open the cage. And once I've trimmed that extra piece off, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps on the opposite side of the cage. I think this trim is actually beautiful and gives the cage so much pizzazz and actually makes it look a little bit more pricier than 99 cents. I'm going to go ahead and repeat those same steps onto the cage until I get to the top. Thank you. 
These items did come from my local Dollar Tree and these are just party beads. And I'm going to be using the silver ones. Time to go ahead and open up the cage. As you guys see, I went ahead and removed the fasteners and I'm also going to be removing the masking tape. I think this came out really nice for the reflective mirror. And you can actually leave it as is, but for me, I wanted to add a little extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue some of these beads on the inner side. I'm going to go ahead and measure each one and cut pieces. For this particular project, I did need to purchase three party bead sets. The first thing that I'm going to be using is an adhesive glue. This will hold the beads stronger in place. And I'm also going to be using hot glue, which will allow the beads to stick in place right away. I do think it's really important to use good glue as well as a good hot glue gun. I do prefer to use the glue, which is high temperature, along with a high temperature hot glue gun. And you just wanna set the beads onto the hot glue and press down onto them. For some extra hold, I went ahead and drizzled some of the adhesive glue over each bead. I then repeated that same step with the hot glue gun. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same steps on the opposite side. Once you finish the top, you want to make sure that your beads are dangling on the outer portion of your cage. So that way you can glue them on the inside. Once I've seen these bird cages at the 99 cents only store, these are great for hanging on your porch or balcony or setting in your home for home decor. I decided I wanted these bird cages on pillar and I did have these old candle pillars sitting around my house for about 14 years. I went ahead and used that same spray paint onto them. And once that dried, I decided I wanted to use some type of bling to make the pillar stand out. So I did purchase these mosaic glass tiles from Amazon. They are self-adhesive, but just to make sure that it really sticks, I'm going to be using some of that glue once again. You can either do them by strip or by individual. But just to make things a lot faster and easier, I'm just going to take two rows at a time and place them onto the candle pillar. And I will repeat this all the way down until the base is clear. You don't have to use any type of pillar or stand for these bird cages. You can just leave them as is. 
but for me i want it to be a little bit extra and i love beautiful home decor and kind of blingy stuff so i decided just to use these old pillars that i had sitting around While that was drying and I was done with that, I decided to try out this old candle pillar that I also had. This one I too as well went ahead and spray painted. Decided to use the bling wrap that I used onto the birdcage. This bling wrap is just beautiful. It has small pieces of diamonds in it or fake diamonds and also has small pieces of metal spikes in it. And I'm just going to take it and wrap it around. This will definitely jazz up this candle stand. And this one right here, I'm actually making for my daughter-in-law. To jazz the ends up or the bottom portion, I'm also going to be using a different type of bling wrap that I also purchased from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it down below. I'm going to be using this bling wrap that I just showed you guys at the base. This comes in quite a few yards and is really, really affordable can either leave it as is or you can cut them individually or in strips like I just showed you guys. I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be adding it to the base where the reflective mirror is at. I thought it looked a little bare. And I'm just going to be taking my hot glue and just placing it onto the trimming of the birdcage. You want to make sure to hold it in place for a few seconds. Also make sure that you cut the ends prior to gluing it down as you want to make sure you're able to open up the cage. You don't have to use a cage from the 99 cents only store, but I'm pretty sure you can find them all around as Halloween is definitely right around the corner. I love this bling wrap because you can do so many different things with it. You can cut it into singles, as you see I'm going to be doing here. And I'm just going to take the trimming and place it on top of the cage. And I'm also going to be making sure prior to gluing it entirely around that I do have a spot to open my cage. This pot right here, I would need to put an individual one because the cage will need to open but I will continue with the long strip on the opposite side. And once I'm at the ends, I will place just one individual. Once you get to the top portion, you will need to cut each one of them off and place them evenly.
Because that spot was so small, I decided to use one of my gems just to fill the space in. You want to repeat this until you get to the very top. And if you do have any small spaces which will not fit your bling wrap, you can use a small gem. Attach my cage to my candle pillar. I'm going to be using adhesive glue. You will need to make sure that this dries overnight, I would say at least 24 hours. And when placing the cage on top of the stand, make sure that you have something heavy inside the stand so that way it'll give it pressure to cure. This was such a fun project, you guys. Can you only imagine for only 99 cents the ideas that you can come up with just to DIY with? and make your home a lovely and inviting place. I'll make sure to link everything down below for you guys. But just a close up of the bling wrap that I'm loving so much, which you can use on just about anything. You can hot glue it, you can regular glue it, and you can also iron this bling wrap onto your clothing or fabric. As you guys can see, there are small faux diamonds along with little tiny spikes, which give it so much glam. The floral wing wrap was also one of my favorites. You can cut them into small pieces or also use them in strips. Check around your home. I'm pretty sure you can find stands that you can use for candles. The candles that I'm using in my bird cages are actually LED remote control candles, which I also purchased from Amazon. I'll leave that link down below. Love the way this turned out. You leave your comments below. If you love home decor, stay tuned to my channel as I have many more DIY videos that I've been working on. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe and check the information description box below for all of the products that I used in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.